Hi, this is Judy Marino, and welcome to this Getting Started with Credo Reference Tour. What is Credo Reference? Think of it as your authoritative version of Wikipedia. It's great for an introduction to a topic, as it consists of encyclopedias, dictionaries, and other reference books. But they're written by experts, not the entire unvetted world. How do you get into it? Start at the library's homepage and look for the link on the lower right-hand side. When using this for Mob Campus, you'll be prompted for your student ID number and your last name. Once in, we see this basic search screen where we can search everything in Credo, or if we like, we can limit our search to any one of these subjects here. Let's start with a simple search. And we retrieve a few hundred results. We can use the options on the left hand side to narrow our results. We could exclude definitions here and get rid of results from dictionaries. We could focus on a particular subject or limit to a particular kind of media. We could look at the dates of the publications and the length of the article. Across the top here, there are a few more options. Again, we could narrow to just images, or we could check out the topic pages. The topic pages pull articles from Credo as well as other information culled from our library resources. But not every single thing will have a topic page. So let's select an article to read it. Once opened up, you'll find options here for listening, quoting, printing, emailing, saving, and translating the article. If we scroll to the end of the article, you'll find an MLA and APA reference, otherwise known as a citation. These are somewhat accurate but be sure to check them, as often automatically generated citations in most databases are not 100% correct. So remember, using Credo Reference instead of Wikipedia will assure that your information is accurate, up-to-date, and authored by experts, and your instructors will appreciate you using it.